Workhorse Group, WKHS stock. Is WKH stock a good investment? It represents an interesting opportunity because right now the numbers are terrible. They're uh, below, they're negative in gross profits, uh, operating profits, and net profits. But there's a huge shift in future revenues. And I wanted to break down this stock because if these guys actually pull off their future revenues, which we're already in a year where they're saying they're going to earn several hundred million, about $250 million in revenue, but they only printed about $6.9 million in their last, first quarter of this year. Let's break down these charts. I want to show you WKHS stock, workers group, show you what I'm looking at. Here is a look at the chart on WKHS stock, Workhorse Group. Last printed about 114. Market capitalization about 250 million. A 43% increase since July. Strong numbers, but a lot of stocks have been moving up that high. But the thing that I want to keep pointing out is future revenue. I've got that chart, what that looks like. It's a huge leap. And if you start looking at gross profits, operating profits and net profits in that order and you calculate in the big jump in future revenues, Workhorse Group could be a very interesting stock to look at for the long haul. They have to get there though. Quarterly revenue, of course, they printed 1.69 for the first quarter of 2023. Uh, I think I, in the intro I said 6.9, got that one backwards. Not a whole lot going on here with revenue growth. But analysts have already pegged that they're going to hit a certain number here in 2023. If that's your first quarter, when and how does this happen? If you're hesitant, this would be my first thing where I point to saying, Workhorse Group hitting what this year? They printed what the first quarter? How are they going to come up with that in the next three quarters? Uh, for those who don't know what Workhorse Group is, they're a sort of an EV company. They do a lot of electronic things with regard to um, EV vi vehicles and uh, data processing of those, that kind of stuff. Not exactly something I would jump into normally myself, but when you're looking at just data points with how much they could be printing in the future with revenue, I'm interested. I'm always looking for these kind of companies. This is a popular stock, believe it or not. A lot of people watch at, uh, WKHS stock. Gross profits, as you can see, negative. Uh, they've been negative across the board over the past two years. And it's this way across the board with all three of their main metrics, gross profits, operating profits, as we can see here, negative 25 million off of the revenue of what, 1.69? Makes sense. And then finally, EBITDA printing only at 24.9 million. All right. Projected revenue for 2023, two, 233 million, then 275 million for 24, then 325 for 2025. Now I'm getting these numbers from analysts. 2022, they already printed at about 89 million. So the 1.69 was a bit low for them on a consistency basis. Uh, how do they jump up to the 233? That's a good question across the board. And I've done the research where the analysts have said, you know, we're expecting uh, forward projections on revenues from this. I don't see any kind of source where there's one thing that is initially going to or instantly take their revenue and push it up as high as it does. I've looked. It's not there. But these are the metrics that the analysts are using. So fine. I'll look and break down these numbers because oftentimes I don't really care about those little kind of, oh, well, this nuance is based on this. This nuance is based on this. First and foremost, I look at just pure data from a blank slate. And if you're going to tell me they're going to jump from 90 to 233 in one year, this gives economies of scale a big opportunity to create profits. And that might be the opportunity for Workhorse Group, WKHS stock, which we saw move 43% since the beginning of July. It could be that the market is seeing this as well and are getting interested. Moving forward, here's a look at 
a bigger picture of the stock. I did some back of the napkin numbers based on how much they're, um, they're printing for margins and costs and things of that nature. Their high was roughly about five, 550 over the past year. As you can see on this chart, there was a big spike up. Of course, uh, a big, long, slow grind lower. We're starting to turn back upward and you need to keep in mind that one data point, their future revenue, should they be able to hit that? And that's the key for me. What I'm looking for at Workhorse Group is, can they hit that revenue? I'm trying to structure some options, leaps, long-term equity uh, stock options where I can put something together where I could take advantage of a potential move above, say, $3.50 within now within one year and a leap tends to be after one year's period of time this is the kind of stock where when you see growth like this if you can put a smallish bet on and at a buck 14 that's not a huge bet if you're doing a few lots if workhorse group does hit that number on revenue economies of scale are going to dictate that their profitability will shift the stock market will pay attention in a big way. These kinds of metrics are what I break down the most and what I look at more so than the popularity contest of any particular stock. Stocks tend to be a popularity contest. Again, as I said, Workhorse Group, WKHS stock, is a popular stock. It gets a lot of buzz. So this one itself could really push higher. So I'm trying to structure a move above, say, $3 over the course of the next 12 months, going into fall of 2024. This is what I'm looking for. Uh, make sure you hit that like and follow button because I'm going to keep posted on this stock. I'm going to try and structure this trade, looking for something that maybe I can get in if we dip below $1 again and start buying up some options, maybe the 250 calls. Make sure you hit that like and follow button. We'll see you in the next video.